What's up? Uh, I am Eric from the Nintendo Treehouse, and we are here on the kind of show floor of our Nintendo Switch event, uh, and we're going to play some Splatoon 2. Yes, this game is actually happening. It's not a port. This is a brand new game, a uh, sequel to Splatoon uh, that was on Wii U. And we're going to jump in, and I have JC here. He's going to um, highlight the first of the four weapons available in this build we have today. Uh, and that weapon is the Splat Dooleys. So this is a brand new weapon. You can go ahead and, uh, and click in. A brand new weapon that is kind of a dual-wielding weapon where you uh, are able to shoot ink from both hands, which obviously, you know, is new to the Splatoon series. And uh, hopefully JC can hold his own. Uh, how you feeling, JC? Dude, pretty good, man. I mean, you know, uh, getting a chance to stand up and play some games is really more my speed. <laughs> All right. So uh, I played a lot of Splatoon with JC. I know he's a talented individual, talented player. Um, so let's see how he does. So um, the Splat Dooleys, uh, you can see he has two reticles. So it's actually, you have a little bit of spread to your shots. Um, one of the, you know, he's facing the Jeep for some reason. It doesn't count towards uh, his Turf War goal, but that's cool. So I should mention uh, this game mode is called Turf War. Uh, Turf War is a game mode in which you can try to cover the most turf. So you have two teams of four Inklings. Uh, they are spraying the ground with ink, trying to cover as much ground as they can. And when the time runs out, whoever's covered the most ground wins the match. So uh, JC is using the Splat Dooleys here. You can see, ooh, come on, JC, you got this. Nice. Um, so he, one of the most cool things about this new weapon is actually it gives you this new maneuver to use, which is a dodge roll. So as JC is uh, you know, shooting ink around, he can use the jump button while he's shooting, and he can actually kind of jump to left and right all around. So why don't you do that real quick, JC? Yeah. So that gives you this maneuverability, allows you to outmaneuver your opponent uh, in a way that really wasn't possible in the original Splatoon game. Um, and in addition, when you use that, so you can see his reticle, the two reticles actually become one right after he uses that dodge roll. And that enables him to fire more accurately and more quickly, so he can actually use that to just you know, pop behind someone, flank them with that dodge roll, and then light them up really quick. So, ooh, use a special, yes. So one thing I should mention is the specials in this game are all brand new. So um, there's not a single special in this game that anyone has ever seen in this game before. That one was the ink jet. It's a uh, kind of this jet pack that you hover up into the air, and then you fire these ink blobs down at, at people, and they explode. Um, and it's really powerful, but it actually leaves you very vulnerable as well because you're kind of in this uh, position where everyone can see you in the air. And in addition, when the special expires, you actually go back to the point that you took off with. So um, people can kind of camp that. So you have to be smart about when you're using it, uh, be aware of where you are when you use it, and all of that. This is doing pretty well here. Splat into a pool. So um, it looks like he has a suction bomb. Yeah, just use that. Use it. Oh, it's a teammate. OK, next time. Do get him next time. Um, so his, in this weapon set, he has the suction bomb. Uh, which what is making the uh, return from the tune one. This is we're doing pretty well. How are you feeling about this match right now, Jesse? I was feeling okay until I got splattered right there, but it's pretty good. Um, I think we're behind though. How are you feeling about the uh, the duelies? The duelies are actually you need to learn how to use these duelies because knowing how to roll and then knowing that you do you know additional damage and all of your ink is focused kind of like in one spot is incredibly important. But hold on, I'm gonna try and get as much ink as I can here. Ah, uh, I gotta give it back. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. The duelies, I feel like there's such, um, there's so much potential for like learning crazy kind of unique, uh, tactics with that thing, you know, as far as like being able to outmaneuver your opponent. Which is super cool. but, uh, nice work. Looks like you guys won that match. JC went 4 and 2, 1921p. Not bad. I'm, I'm impressed, man. Good job. Thanks, JC. All right, we're going to rotate. We're going to play another match. And this time, we're going to have Nate Dog, Nathan Bildorf, uh, who is the um, director of localization. He's senior director, even. And he's good. He's good. I played a lot of uh, Splatoon with Nate as well. Uh, he is, he's a solid player. Um, today, he's going to be playing a weapon he's not entirely familiar with. Um, he's going to be playing the Charger. And the Charger has some really cool changes uh, this time around. So, uh, as soon as uh, Nate jumps in, we will see what I'm talking about. I should mention this, this uh, stage. This is a brand new stage called The Reef. 
Um, and the reef is kind of where the Inklings uh, like to hang out as sea animals like to hang out on the reef, you know, it makes a lot of sense for them. So the charger, uh, as you know, you charge it up, and when it's full, you can fire um, and then do a lot of damage. You can actually uh, splat someone with a one shot with the charger. But this time around, you can actually save your charge, so you can store it. So he's fully charged. You can see there on his ink meter, as he, uh, as he is fully charged, there's this gray part at the top of the ink meter, and that represents his, uh, his charge that is stored. So he can actually uh, charge it up, move positions in the ink, pop up, and then immediately blast. Oh, you're in trouble. He can immediately throw out a uh, fully charged charger shot, which really just opens the entire game up for charges. I think it makes it much more versatile option. You're so much more mobile now than you were in Splatoon 1 with chargers. Um, and I think high level play with that is just gonna be insane. So Nate just charged up his special. This is, ooh, nice. Called the Stingray. He actually did it right there. So the Stingray flies through the entire level, through walls, um, and splats anyone it touches. So you can shoot through walls, so you can, I mean, there are a lot of different ways to use it. You kind of need to find a good position, and then you can actually hide in the corner of the level and basically just like sweep through it and ink people. Um, it's, it's hard to say how, how that's going to be used best. I mean, the thing is, when you're using it, it it's hard to turn. So you have to kind of set it up and then fire because it turns very slowly as you try to rotate the shot. Um, Let's see, what else? Oh, come on. How, 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 how many people have you splatted so far now? Uh, I think three. Three? That's not bad, man. That's not bad. Where are we? Um, let's see. Yeah, so, uh, the yes, the re this level. So you can see um, in the bottom left corner of the screen, you still have your, uh, you know, this way, booyah. So, you know, we listen to you guys. I know that before that said, come on, and that kind of, for some people, you know, we read we read the boards. I see you, our Splatoon. Um, and we uh, decided to change that a bit to, uh, to shore up some of that communication, communication disconnect. But... One thing we haven't talked much about is the story this time around in Splatoon. Uh, Splatoon 2 uh, takes place two years after the events of Splatoon 1, uh, and it's going to be really interesting. We can't really talk too much about what's going on, but you might see, you know, the return of some of your favorite characters, uh, but I, which I'm super psyched about having localized the first game. I love Callie Marie, all their voices. So, uh, how are you feeling about that, Nate? That's how I'm feeling. Good guys. Woo! I don't know. It's like you got to have snipers, you got to be out on the edges. No, you went three and two. You, you were positive. Ooh, we went eight and one with the roller. That was good. All right. Thanks, Nate. All right. Next up, we're going to have Kendra. Kendra is going to be playing the roller for us. How are you feeling, Kendra? I'm feeling pretty good. That last match was really fun. So I'm still ready. Had two matches to practice. Ready to go. Sweet, let's do this. All right, let's hop right in. So the roller, so all these, so the roller, the splat charger, and the uh, splatter shot are returning from Splatoon 1. Um, but they are tweaked a little bit, and we'll see how the roller is tweaked this time around. Um, again, I think uh, the dev team has gone, has gone through a great effort to make the game kind of raise the skill ceiling of the game. So. You're able to, you have more options, you're more versatile. So we'll see that with the roller here. Obviously, we just saw that with the charger being able to store your charge. Um, but this time around, so the roller is a, is a kind of, you know, paint roller-esque weapon, except for using ink. And uh, you can roll it across the ground, but you can also press the attack button to fling out this wall of ink. Oh, jeez. So, yep, so you can fly, kind of fling out this entire wall of ink. There you go. And um, what that's going to do is send this kind of wall that's kind of wide. But if you jump and then you hit the, the swing button, you actually fling a vertical. Yeah, see that? So it's a more vertical uh, or like a thinner stream of ink that travels farther. So you can actually use that to your advantage. You kind of choose which, which uh, 
option that's going to be best for you in your situation. So, Hydra has charged up her special. This is one of my favorite new specials. So, <laughs> so the splash down. So the splash down. Um, what she can do is if she super jumps to an opponent, to, to a teammate rather, she can activate the special in midair, and that's going to allow her to uh, to so when she lands. You'll see it. Let's do it. Did you get splatted? What happened? Okay. All right. So she jumps up in the air. Oh, she activates her special, and as she lands, she actually hits the ground and causes this ink explosion. Uh, where this wave of ink comes out. So that's a really, really uh, valuable move. Uh, let's say you have a teammate who's pinned down somewhere with uh, three enemy inklings like, surrounding you. You can actually jump to them with an offensive move and kind of splat everyone in the, in the area, which is super cool. Um, let's see. So then, yes. So she, this set also has a new bomb. So this is the curling bomb. Um, you might, you know, be familiar with the sport of curling. I know you guys all love to curl. Uh, but you take this curling stone bomb and you toss it out there. It slides across the ground, bouncing off of everything it touches, um, and then explodes if it gets in proximity of another ink. Oh, you got a special. Let's see this. Oh, use it. So, so with this special, you can super jump to an opponent and use it, and it'll be there when you land. But you can actually just use it standalone. Boom. Oh, just like that. And that will, uh, you guys, kind of cause this explosion all around. Let's see. You got this. Okay, nice. So, uh, as you see, oh, so Kendra had pulled up the map to Super Jump. So you can pull up the map at uh, any moment with the uh, press of the X button. That's going to, you can do that in the split second to kind of check you know, your status of your team, how, how well you guys are doing. Uh, also see where the enemy's at um, based on their ink spread. And that's what it is. You are tearing it up right now. Good job. <laughs> How'd that feel, Kendra? Really good, yeah. Um, one thing I really like about the roller is you have to kind of get up close and personal if you want to get in on what your enemy's doing, so you just like roll right over them. I kind of like to come up behind and then just like roll over them with a giant roller, so it's cool. Nice. Well, thank you so much. Ooh, five and oh? You were, you were pro, you're pro style. All right, let's get this guy in. This guy, this is uh, Morgan, everyone. Morgan uh, worked on the localization of the original Splatoon game with me. Um, and uh, I played a lot. Probably more than with anyone else, I've played a lot of Splatoon with you. Um, he's going to go with the tried and true splatter shot. Once you go ahead and choose, we'll jump right in. Uh, so the splatter shot, you are a splatter shot pro. Your favorite in the Splatoon was the splatter shot junior, correct? Junior, which stands for just right. But I like the splatter shot. Uh, I'm just joking. Uh, I like the splatter shot. It's sort of the do it all weapon. You can be aggressive with it. You can ink turp with it. You can go for kills. You can kind of do it all. And, uh, there you go. Yes, so the splatter shot kind of embodies the spirit of Turf War. It's probably the most iconic weapon in Splatoon. Uh, this time around, of the four weapons we're showing today, this is the, the most familiar, I think, to most people, because the formula hasn't changed much. There's not um, like a, a new feature necessarily. It may have been tweaked a little bit. But uh, this is going to, I think, for Splatoon veterans who want to jump right into Splatoon 2 and feel right at home, this is your weapon. But Morgan has charged up a special. So the special on this, as I mentioned, all the specials are brand new. But this special is called the Tenta Missiles, which I am thinking about changing the name, to be honest, I, because before I thought it shot out 10 missiles. Anyway, I don't talk about it. But he can target anyone. And anyone in his targeting reticle, when he pulls the trigger, oh, nice. It actually sends out four homing missiles per target and will destroy anyone that touches. Um, obviously, it can be avoided, but it's it's difficult, man. It's a really it's a really powerful special. Morgan had an interesting tactic there. He actually charged up his special, jumped back to uh, to his spawn point, and then he was able to get kind of a, a better overview of the action on the level, so he could target more effectively. All right. So then you have burst bombs, correct? Burst bombs. They're like the cutest weapon in this game. They're like literally like water balloons full of ink. It's true. Uh, yeah. Ooh, see? I bet that was JC with that. 
Uh, pretty quick and fired off again. You got this. Take that dude out. Ooh, you cornered. Stuck in the ink. Oh, right. Someone else. What? Oh, did you see that? Super jumped out. That was smart. Um, okay. Well, let's see you get one more special, and then uh, we are going to probably wrap it up. So do this. Oh, yes. Uh, two. That two's not bad. Let's see what hits. Oh, no kills out of that, though. No. What are you going to do? Anyway, uh, I think uh, we're just going to leave it right there. Apparently, every team that Korg is on, he wins. So, yeah. Um, so, that was Splatoon 2. We are going to uh, wrap this up right here, right now. Thank you for watching. Uh, next up, we have some other awesome stuff. So, please stay tuned.